Hello, so today I'm going to be preserving some fruit in resin. Uh, I've never tried doing something like this before, but I figure if I can dehydrate this fruit well enough, it will keep a really nice vibrant color and that would look really stunning in a piece of resin. I'm also going to be using a different brand than I'm used to. I'm going to be using the very popular Art Resin. I was really fortunate to be tabling at an artisan market for the past few weekends. At this market, I met a lot of awesome artists as so many original people selling all different types of creative work. But while I was tabling at this event, I had a really lucky opportunity to actually speak with the mother of the creator of Art Resin. She was so nice and so encouraging about all my resin art. She offered to send me a sample package of some art resin supplies, um, a blowtorch, and this is what really encouraged me to try to use this new brand. So that was really generous of her, and I'm excited to get into this project. Thanks for watching. After putting the orange slices in a dehydrator for about 24 hours, they were in a good state to be put in resin. So one thing that I had to pay special attention to while working with this resin is to avoid any air bubbles. Um, it's a lot harder for this resin to get rid of the air bubbles during the curing process and they kind of have to be taken out by hand. Um, while mixing the two parts together and while pouring your molds. A few techniques that I used to avoid this was making sure the resin was at a really warm temperature by putting it in a hot water bath for about 10 minutes before I poured and really attending to it with a torch whenever I needed to to pop any clusters of air bubbles that were forming. Art Resin recommends not pouring more than one eighth of an inch for every pour so you can really torch out all the air bubbles that appear. So here was my first beginner mistake while using this resin. I didn't condition my molds at all before pouring, and considering I used pretty inexpensive molds in the first place, all four of these molds broke while I tried to take them out. And not only did this destroy my molds, it really ruined the top coat of these pieces. Even though I tried to torch out most of the air bubbles in the cup that I was mixing my resin in and not the molds itself, I guess I did torch them a bit too much or too long or something. Either way, I should have just sprayed my molds with something to make sure they didn't attach like that. So this involved a little bit more work with scraping the pieces with an X-Acto knife, sanding it down, buffering out the top layer, and then top coating it again. For the half spheres, I decided to pour a little bit of resin into the same molds, this time using a good amount of Casting Craft Mold Release Spray. 
Um, so I sprayed it once, let that dry, and then sprayed it again, and then dabbed it dry with a tissue. And that did the trick, and the molds came out really easily this time. So that is something I definitely have to keep in mind in the future. So I had a lot of fun experimenting with all these new materials. Um, I think the strawberries and the oranges in resin turned out so beautifully and I can't wait to figure out how to use those in a bigger project. As for the resin, I definitely think it will take a little bit more practice to make sure I get zero air bubbles, but the clarity and smoothness of this resin is really, really nice and I'm really glad I got the chance to use it. So thank you so much for watching and have a good one.